guys welcome back to my channel another unboxing for you as promised and today it comes from biggest craft let's put that to one side aha we'll do this first so let's move that away so i've seen these before i've just never owned one so i wanted to see what it was like um, most embroidery hoops well no all of the embroidery hoops I have are the ones where you push the side the wooden ones you know you put the hoop on and then you push the one over the top and then you have to tighten the screw to make it tight now I've never had one of these oh, I think my tablets I'll put all the details on the screen because my tablets having a mess um, and it just doesn't want to do anything for me this morning. I think perhaps I need to do some updates. I keep forgetting the updates. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is where your ring is. So this pushes into that rim right there. Let me make sure you can see it. I apologize if I rock you, but I'm trying to get it to focus on. There's like a little ridge, a dip in there. And it's so much easier because you just squeeze it and pop it in. And it pops inside the red rim. That's going to make it so much easier, I think. I'm going to try it out in a little bit and give it a go, see how we go. But yeah, I'll put all the details on the screen because I'm going to have to get the details off my phone. Okay, and then my kit. This one has been... I've been eyeing it up for a little while and I've undernarred because of how much black and grey and perhaps cream and whites were in it, but I plumbed with it in the end because I really, really, really like it, otherwise I wouldn't be looking at it. It's called Moonlit White Cat. It's a 14 count, so two strands, and it's 44 by 56 centimetres and comes in the Joy Sunday bag. I would look if it is a Joy Sunday kit, but my tablet doesn't want to play ball today. Still. Okay. I don't mind the Joy Sunday bags. It means I can. I don't have to put them in one of mine. So this is the image without the glare on the bag. Yeah, that has focused. It's this gorgeous little white cat in the middle with a bit of um, a moon, I think. Well, it looks like a bubble, actually, but makes it look like a moon in the trees. I imagine this is going to be confetti, especially up there and kind of, well, kind of everywhere really. So this is your chart booklet. Is there a page that tells you where they all go? No. Okay. It's just pages one through eight. Um, if I bring this up, you can see for yourselves whether it's confetti or not. And it kind of is. There's bulk patches of number two. Uh, and D. It's not too bad, actually. Oh, yes, it's right in the middle. So this shows you the layout of the pages and where they go. It has 15 colours, which quite a large amount, really, considering it's kind of hmm, similar colours. So that's that. So back to the chart. That's going to be easy to follow if I choose to um, wash it. Let's see how bad the canvas is first. Let's move the colours. Okay. Not that that matters, but the edges are surged. Sorry, I was looking at it off camera. Um, it is 14 count, like I said. Um, do you remember me just saying about it being confetti up here in the corner? I wasn't wrong. And it is bl not blurry, but because there's so much contrast in colours and symbols and stuff, that's kind of hard to read. So I think washing it is a definite. 
an absolute definite. There are a couple of ink stains, but I am not worried about those because usually the ink washes off anyway. I don't think there are any more kits that don't wash off anymore. It kind of has printed on the back too. Um, I wouldn't say it's bled through, but it isn't going to make a bit of difference because it will wash off with the rest of it when I wash it. Does it say stitch count on here? No. Yes, it does. 198 wide by 264 stitches high. Your 15 colours are written across the bottom as well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to wash it. I mean, the cat's okay. You can see the cat perfectly but when you kind of get into the confettis of it all that corner is probably the worst I'm going down this side I don't no it only came in 14 count there was no option for a different count I don't think so unless your eyesight is immaculate and you don't mind confetti this probably isn't the kit for you unless you are comfortable with washing it and working from the chart which I am I've got my um, printer upstairs which I can photocopy all these pages and color it in as I go so I'm not worried and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do to be honest this is super easily readable okay let's get to the 15 colors so we have our two needles on here and they are the 14 count needles you can always tell because the 11s feel a bit fatter so all the colors are on one side these are just extras because they can't fit it all on this side so they've at least let me know that this one is number two which is here and this one is number 13 which is here so I won't show you those two because they're just extras but as expected <laughs> a lot of greys a lot of greys and a fair amount of black so we've even got like a tint of greeny a greeny colour there yeah and this extremely dark grey 3799 and we do have a very minimal amount of off-white and white you can actually see when you roll them together the difference so that's going to be like the moon the cat the bubbles or whatever it is they are so we've got an absolute ton of threads and it is 14 count so you only need one strand folded in half so that is a lot of threads an absolute lot of threads so I'm not going to be able to um, give you the details and show you it online just because my tablet does not want to work as long as it works for pattern keeper though that's what matters so these are today's um, items for review and I can't wait to try that hoop out are you focused no you are now and I might actually just wash this one and use it on here I look forward to it I've put it off for ages but I am looking forward to it so we'll give it a go um, off the table so thank you to biggest craft all the items the details and stuff will be in the description box for you as always it's, that goes without saying unless I forget and then I get an email off and saying you forgot <laughs> I've done that occasionally but it should be there um, so thank you to them for sending me these items for review the kit is great the hoop i'm gonna try then thank you to you guys for stopping in and checking out these items with me i appreciate you spending just that little bit of time checking out what new kits i've got um other than that guys take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>